Alright, so today I just wanted to talk a little bit about how to set up the Amiga emulator. So it's the very first thing on your list in the ROMs folder. So we're, um, I'm in WinSCP again, and it's under Home, Pi, RetroPi, ROMs. And so uh, we'll go into the Amiga folder. And generally speaking, it will be a .adf file that you're going to be putting it in. Um, and the Amiga is just an old computer system from the 80s, a little before my time, but still has some very interesting things on it. Um, so yeah, it's going to be a .adf file, and you'll put it into the ROMs folder. And then it might also require a BIOS. Um, I guess it's not technically a BIOS, it's a kickstart ROM. But you'll put it in the BIOS folder. Um, they have what's called Eros, which is kind of like a an alternative BIOS, which will work for a lot of games, but some games won't work unless you have the actual Kickstart ROMs. So um, those will go in the BIOS folder. Um, and again, you have to legally own an Amiga computer to have those ROMs and yada yada. So um, I can't provide you with links to those, but I'm sure a search on the internet can help you find them. Um, so there will be three main ones. Um, there's kick13.rom and then kick20.rom and kick31.rom. And I'll show you um, how to select those through the emulator. Um, it's a little different than most of the other emulators on the Emulation Station because it will boot into a GUI rather than directly into the game. So I'll show you how to manage that GUI uh, once you've got your ROMs and your Kickstart stuff set up in your folder. So we'll go to that next. All right, so I've booted into Emulation Station and uh, I'm at the Amiga logo. So we'll open up into that and we have one option, it's to start. So this will start up into the GUI. And um, so this is what it looks like when it starts. And there is, um, so options put in multiple disk images, um, but uh, some of them are just one. So you'll click on here and you'll go into your ROMs folder and then Amiga, and you'll just pick your game, so I'll pick Carnage, and again it's a .adf file. Press OK, and then I'm not going to worry about hard drive, because that's not important. Um, and then here, these are the Kickstart ROMs that are necessary in order for you to run uh, your Amiga games. Um, so you can set up presets on the right, um, and those are just kind of generic presets, and then also you can do Eros, which is, um, if you don't have ROM that's kind of like the default um, open source ROM or BIOS thing and um, that should work for a lot of games but if they don't then you'll have to have a kickstart ROM um, and then also you can do custom ROM so if maybe you don't have one of these you can browse and pick a ROM from your BIOS folder or wherever you put it um, so I'm just going to do the default with 3.1 since that's the one I have set up um, and then you can change the display and uh, save state, sound, controls, um, custom controls. So there's a lot of different configurations, but if you're just playing a simple game, all you got to do is pick a game from here and then pick your, your Kickstart ROM. And then it's kind of counterintuitive, but um, to start a game or open up into one, you click the reset button. Um, I don't know if that's what I would have chosen if I were designing it. I probably would have picked start, but anyways. Uh, so we'll click on that to start a game up and we'll see if it works, so, all right. Looks like it's working. So I'm just pressing control to start it. Um, and then pressing control to start the game. All right, so, uh, and then, yeah. hooray, I'm terrible at this game. Anyways, so it works and it's functioning. I'm just using my keyboard, but let's see if, oh look, my controller works too. Yeah, there we go. So you can use your controller as well, but some of them might not work. You just kind of have to test it out with each game. And then when you're done with your game, to get out, all you gotta do is press control, hold down control and press escape, and it will take you right back to the GUI. If you don't press it twice. Um, and then you should be able to just press quit. I've had issues not being having it go back to emulation station sometimes, um, but obviously it worked this time. So um, yeah, that's pretty much all there is to that. So hopefully that works for you.